Hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Rickertons. Welcome back, guys. Today we are doing a Tinsky tutorial. You guys may call them forward walkers, as we call them. Tinsky? Tinsky. So yeah, guys, we're gonna hopefully give you some tips and tricks on how to get your forward walkover. If you already have your forward walkover, maybe these tips and tricks might help your technique or prepare you for a area walkover. If you guys would like us to do an area walkover, then let us know in the comments down below and we'll be sure to do that. Before we get on with today's video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give it a big thumbs up if, if you like it. it. And don't forget to click that bell so you guys are notified every time we post a video. And we'll also be announcing Fan of the Week at the end of the video, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. So before we do anything, we must warm up our muscles. So we're going to do some cardio exercise that gets the heart racing and warms up the whole body and your muscles. And our legs, so we're going to do specific stretches to target those areas. in your forward walkover. Here's the exercise. With this stretch, it's really important that you keep that leg straight and you don't let your foot hit the ground. Be sure to repeat this exercise on both legs and if you feel strong enough, you can try it by yourself. So if you don't have a partner or someone to hold you up, you can find something else to hold on to to help you. Thank you. <laughs> So the first thing you will do is prepare. So you present your arms nicely and point your preferred leg. Then you're going to place your hands on the floor and kick up as if you were doing a handstand, but instead of putting your legs together, you'll stay in a split. You must make sure your head is up, your legs are straight and your toes are pointed. Then from here, you keep bending your back and that first leg touches the floor and you have a flat foot. Then you push your hips forward, put your weight on that supporting leg and come up. Well done, Tegan. So now we're gonna show you guys some common mistakes that people do in their forward walk over. Here we go, folks. Some people might put their head the wrong way. Here Sam is demonstrating where she's not looking at the floor. Which makes it very difficult to come up in a tinsky, even though she just did it. That was really weird. It is so important for you to look at the floor the entire time of your forward walkover. And your head is the last thing to come up. Another common mistake that people might do is not bend their back enough in a tinsky. This means their foot is way too far out and makes it very difficult to come up. See, Sam is struggling here to get up in her tinsky. So it's really important that you get your leg as close as you possibly can to your hands. Obviously, the looser you are, the easier it is to get up. Once your foot hits the ground, it's important that your knee goes over your toe and your hips lean forward. When you push your hips forward, your knee automatically goes over your toes and then you are able to stand up because your weight is in the correct position. It's really important to keep your arms by your ears the entire time. Arms must stay straight, elbows near your ears and fingers fully stretched. Now, so can you show us one where your arms are going everywhere? And go. 
just doesn't look as clean. So once you've mastered your forward walker, you can move on to a variety of other tricks. Guys, we hope you learnt something today, or we hope we helped you perfect your, your forward walkover slash team ski in some way. Comment down below if you guys would like to see us teach you a forward walkover with no hands, an aerial walkover. Woo! Remember, guys, nothing with acro comes easy, and it takes a lot of practice and repetition. So don't give up if you don't get it the first time you try. All right, guys, fan of the week this week goes to Olivia Slade and Heather Gamble. Thank you so much, guys, for your amazing comments. And if you'd like to be shouted out in our next week's video, all you have to do is comment on this week's video. Remember, we post on Squared every Monday and we post on this channel every Thursday. So we'll see you guys next Thursday.